Recording, recording. Alrighty, guys, welcome to the fifth episode of Pelagius. I am your humble GM, the Emerald Emperor. Uh, Tony, why don't you give us a recap of what happened last session? Oh, man, here we go. So, first... Wait, was this last session or the session before that? We talked with the elders at a council... I missed the session before this, so I'm not entirely sure what happened then. But we talked to an elder or a council of elders. We convinced them that if we can help put this uh, great sandworm dude to sleep or rest or back to not crazy mode, a uh, the desert people will assist us in, I guess, putting down the giant evil frostworm that is causing weather problems and like probably killing people. A uh, that led us into the desert. A, uh, where we smooth talked our way into having some weird animal companions. A, uh, I didn't smooch anybody, unfortunately. But we ended up at this weird, spooky ruins. It was a pretty good time. Fun stuff. Did I miss anything? <clears throat> uh, that <laughs> seems to be about it. Unless yeah, uh, somebody else has something to add. They missed the cave. Uh, and just before. Beast. Yeah, just before we ended, there was a huge, like, earthquake, right? Yep. Right. <clears throat> Alrighty. So, uh, as you guys said, there was a massive earthquake-ish deal, and you hear, hear your lizard mounts scream and then run away. Which is unusual, yeah. being that you're way in the back. So this must be ridiculously loud. Everybody go oh, ahead, yeah. except for Christina, everybody go ahead and roll me a perception check. Difficulty is going to be average, so two purples. Did I cut out her or something? No, oh, you didn't. No, I'm just... Okay, I'm just I'm curious because it got about real about quiet there for a second. They're typing... Ah. Ah, it's just <laughs> Alrighty. So, yeah. You guys are kind of oblivious. Uh, <laughs> up until you hear a shrieking from out, like a shriek come from in, essentially from the entrance. What would you two like to do? Uh... Well, I, I kind of don't want to go to the entrance, so I'm going to... Oh, shit, there's nowhere else to go. <laughs> I'll go to the entrance. I'll come with you, I guess. <laughs> All right, as you guys come to the entrance, you see Dahlia, the uh, druid, or the, not the druid, the dryad from uh, the forest. She looks a little worse for wear, definitely very sandy, uh, Christina, go ahead and roll me a hard, either discipline or cool check. I both two, so hard is... Three purple. Chet. Okay, yeah. Essentially, you see Dahlia essentially freaking out up at the, like, at the entrance. Uh, she is essentially crawling in as fast as she f possibly can. Come on, help me. What would you guys <laughs> like to do? I go up to her. What's wrong? What's happening? <clears throat> I'm trying to find the image for you, Christina. That way you can describe what terrors you have seen. Where is the it, heck? Is it a demon? No. Because I fought demons. We can we can take demons. <laughs> <coughs> Alrighty. Let's see. Okay, just for simplicity's sake, Christina, go ahead and back your token up out of the area real quick. I'm going to reveal it to you. You saw that. Whew. 
I didn't see it, but like, spooky. Big, big, big sandworm. Big sandworm. A, a, a big sandworm. Do you think it's the, the desert guardian? Thing? As you say that, thud, the side <laughs> of the tomb, and you see dust come down from the top. <laughs> He's that big. Oh, um, uh, Rudy, what do you what do you think we should do? I'm crawling uh, in because they're apparently just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> you said there was nowhere else in this tomb that we could go. Uh, there is not really a way up or down unless you want to try and chisel through sandstone. Well, we have out. Don't go out. We got this. Don't go out. <laughs> Okay, um, I will hold on to the support beam and hope it doesn't collapse on me. <laughs> I'll find comfort in my warm embrace. Probably not, I'll be honest. Alia is just going to lean against the, the stone. She's worse for wear, okay? <laughs> what should we do? Like, this, this stupid worm. Should we hide in here and hope it goes away? Oh, I don't think it's going to go away. Uh, so we're probably going to have to fight it. Fight it? Well, unless you can go and smooch it, um, yeah. I'll go try. I'll, I'll, I'll go get a kiss. Go get a kiss. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> I'm a snack, you know. Just, like, I forgot they were horn zoods. All of them. <laughs> oh, I, I see a thing and I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> you see oh, God. God. As oh, you God. guys kind of like go to the entrance, you see like part of this worm's like body out of the ground, but most of it appears to still be underground as it kind of digs around and you guys can hear it. It almost sounds like a drill. Like a biological oh, drill just going through this sand. I want to throw a rock at it. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and give me a range check. It's going to be medium range. Oh, man. Range of just ranged. That's all the same. With medium, it's just two purple. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so for a rock, since this is an improvised weapon. I'm not trying to hurt. I just wanted to go away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I will shout at it. Go away. So you deal essentially whatever your brawn is plus one, because this is a small rock. Oh, man, I dealt three damage. Woohoo! It bounces off of the back of it. The creature seems to not even really notice. It just continues to tunnel. Awesome. Is it leaving me alone? Yeah, it, it didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, you better run. <laughs> <laughs> and then it yeah. tunnels out of your line of sight, essentially. Guys, I scared it off. I'm a <laughs> hero. I adjust my collar. I like, coolly. <laughs> uh, good job, man. Uh, good job. I bet that big blind man we call Gorefang in the back is pooping himself as we speak while I scare away a giant sandworm. I'm sure he's terrified. Yeah. If you guys could see him, he's back in the back trying to learn to read. Without eyes. Oh. Wait, he's blind. He can't read. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? We've got to get out of here. I'd recommend it running, maybe. I don't know. But but Gorfang. Um, you're It'll cool. You carry him. I'm not strong enough to carry his big muscly ripples. You think I could carry him? I don't know. Use the force of nature. Yeah, oh yeah, like the cool sand. I'm gonna lift up and carry him. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> or we could just ask him to run with us. I don't know. <clears throat> Guide him. Tie a rope to him and just drag his big body behind you. 
Can we have a rope around him like most of the time now? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in the distance you can hear him grumbling. Yeah. Um, Bang. yeah, I'll go. Yeah. What? Gorfang, let's go. We got we gotta run. I'm up. I don't know, he may like that. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> go ahead and give me initiative. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I'll go back to where I was. <laughs> yep, go ahead and give me initiative. Is this uh which initiative is it? Uh it's just gonna be a simple cool check. So no purple dice, just cool. Yep. As usual. Nice, 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 nice. One point two uh, for Christina. Uh, no, point two for Christina. No, oh, point two. She got a point two. I got one point two. Aaron got a one point two. And yeah. we got a three. Wow. <laughs> Go, Tony. <clears throat> yeah, I'm right. throw another rock at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's confident. He's ready for this fight. <laughs> All right. Let me roll for the worm. So are we going to fight it or are we going to... Oh, shit. God. Or are we going to run? That is up to you guys. I suggest... <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, uh... Birthday boy had money, so GameStop was in uh, sight. Okay, figured. Had to get uh, some V-Bucks for Fortnite. Fun. Oh, yeah, that's... You missed it. I beat up the sandworm all by myself. Yeah, he kicked his butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. It to the ground, <laughs> grabbed it by its fang bits. And <laughs> said, yeah, yeah, no, it pass. And I, and I slammed him into the sand, which he, you know, sunk into because he's a sandworm. <laughs> but you all got attacked by a sandworm. No, you felt the no. rumble of the earth and the crackle of. <laughs> stones as they fell on your head from the sandworm attacking. But we weren't attacked by a sandworm. No, 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 oh. no, no. Not, not yet. We yeah, can roll cool. Roll the initiative. Or get ready. <coughs> yeah, if you, could, if you could roll cool, that'd be... <laughs> that'd be pretty cool of you. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see, where is this? Oh, well, whatever. Alright, so, uh, starting off with uh, Tony, Tony, what are you doing, sir? <laughs> I'm gonna run behind that first pillar. Or no, I'm gonna. I think I'm brave enough. I'm gonna go to that second. Alrighty. Okay. Bam, and I'm gonna hide behind it and ready my next stone for a thorough whipping. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Uh, so let me see here. Where? Oh, where are you? Rudy, what type of weapon do you want? Do, would you wield? Um, I don't think I would ever wield a weapon. I, I'm half tempted oh. to pick up a big enough book and just slap somebody with it, but I don't think that's going to deal any damage. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I can, like, conjure a weapon for you. Man, I have, um... Hold on, hold on. I think I actually have a weapon. Yeah, you have that dagger, don't you? Yeah, I'm gonna stab that fool. Wait till he gets close enough to see me a second time. I don't know if he has eyes, actually. I, I, I dare him to feel my tremors in the earth as I stab my mighty dagger. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he saw it, or he basically felt you. He immediately turns right around, and you hear this gigantic, like, furrow of sand, and it looks like something you'd expect from, like, a, uh, like a truck with a plow on the front just sand being thrown into the air as this creature comes rumbling towards you. Okay, well, it was nice knowing you guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me a, a har or go ahead and give me an average perception check, but I want you to add two blacks to it, so two setbacks. Oh, good, good. 
Actually, all of you can do this, whoever's in the doorway at this point. Okay. Except for uh, Gorfang, because Gorfang is blind and cannot see it. You said it's three purple? Uh, two purple, but with uh, two black. Remember, S is for setback in this one. Oh, we're all rolling. <laughs> That's all right, so Tony did fine. We're all successful. All right. Uh, you guys noticed that uh, the worm, you expect it to be the sand guardian you, or desert guardian. You expect it to be kind of vicious. But as you guys kind of look upon it, you realize that it almost has, it looks like it has like uh, rods that have been inserted into its skin and are bound by chain. Uh, those of you with magical perception, like the divine and primal, any of that, mm -hmm. you guys actually can also see a trail of what looks to be magic going from this creature off to like a nearby sand dune. <laughs> Does it look like... We, we should go kill the creature. Uh, oh! Yes. Does it look like the worm is, like... He's bound by magic. That That's not natural. He's hurting. What's I'm hurting? Ready like, magic, right? On purpose? Well, obviously it's on purpose, but... Um, what's the question I'm looking for? Is he, like, being piloted? Is it recent? Does it look recent? Um. Yes. So with your second successes each of you notices that there appears to be trickles of blood also coming from this uh so either this worm has been essentially just by the amount of blood too you would assume that this worm has been controlled for a while but the way that these rods these metal rods with the chain are inserted it looks like it keeps a perpetual blood fl blood loss and blood flow going Anyway, uh, for Rudy, do you have any armor that I should know about? Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, would you like I to spend a so. story point to increase the difficulty of this worm's check to attack you? Um, what's his current check going to be? You have no idea. I'm just asking if you want to increase it or not. Um, I'd like to buy a vowel. Alright, I will take that yeah, as an sure. affirmative. Uh, let's see, you're behind cover as well, which puts a setback to this. Rolling. Oh! Uh, Rudy takes 10 points of damage as this thing grazes by him. Alright, I'm down. Oh, what? I got 8 hit points, bro. Uh, go ahead and roll me a... Uh... Wait, after the soak? Because I'm still at 0 even after the soak. <laughs> yes, after... Well, no, before soak. Alright, so I'm still at zero. We're good, we're good. Okay, roll me a die 100. <laughs> 50 even. 50. Do you have any uh, credits already? I believe so, actually. Okay. Um, no. Hold on, it's in my notes somewhere. Okay. I've got two of them. Oh, so that adds 20. So you actually got 70. All right. Oh, man. You get flung, literally, against the side of the pyramid here. Uh, until, so go ahead and put down 70. So until this critical injury is healed, you remove all boost checks, all boosts from skill checks. So you cannot gain a boost at all until this critical injury is healed. All right, so that is the worm and Rudy's turn. Oh, by the way, as you guys kind of watch, the worm kind of funnels through past him and then just kind of rears up. All right, next player is going to be Aaron. You're up. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to... Can I run out of here? Okay. Move her in the way. Yeah, you can move through her. There's no uh, penalty for pushing past somebody. At least party members. Then I'm going to uh, try and heal Rudy a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's see. While you're doing that, let me roll this thing again. Uh, let's do that.
And then what difficulty? Uh, because he's at zero and you're trying to heal him, uh, you mm-hmm. are looking at a uh, a hard check, so three purples. Okay. So only two purples because of my banner. Um, yeah. Oh, nice. All right, so yeah, you managed to heal him in a up to three... You get three health points back, plus whatever additional healing boosts you give whenever you do that. Uh, plus three, so you get six. Wow, you went from down to back up. <laughs> so, uh, what's the name of this fiddle on your heart? <laughs> huh, what? No, you, you, like, he fell over, then he gets back up again. He falls over, he gets back oh, up I again. get down. Oh, get up again. Yep, mm-hmm. pretty much. All right, so what else are you doing? Because you've kind of you've moved, you've healed him, which is an action. Uh, if you'd like, you can spend strain to move again. Uh, can I spend strain to? Can I like cast my thing, my spirit guardian, or? Uh, unfortunately, no, that I, is an I action. You cannot. Yeah. No, I'll uh, I'll just I'll be done then. Okay, before you say you're done, you notice that the worm kind of turns towards you. And it starts to, like, rear up more like it's getting ready to jump at you. Uh, can I grab Rudy and pull him in? Yes, if you'd like to. Uh, I'll have you spend four strain to do it. But yes, you can drag him in with you. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll just bend two to save myself. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. So you duck back in, spending two strain to get back inside. You're, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! And the worm seems to track you as you do this too. All right, uh, Christina, you're up. I'm gonna pull Rudy in. All right. No strain or action required, or no strain required. You grab Rudy and drag him in. I told you! Nasty, ugly thing in the, out there! Pull you in Am further. I conscious? Yeah, you're conscious as she does, and you're conscious enough to see this worm suddenly just pummel right next to where you guys were. And it, like, hits the side of the pyramid, too, and you hear a loud crunch as it hits. And the worm kind of roars. Can I go? <laughs> uh, what would you like to do, Gorfang? <laughs> Dude... I'm just gonna literally run out the hole and jump at the thing. <laughs> I'm, anymore. I'm gonna fucking go dune on it. Okay. Battle of the minds. <laughs> All right, you run at it. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna give. Uh, I gotta give Ty- somebody Tyson's character sheet because I don't want to roll his stuff. So um, <laughs> I um, I have plus four to soak. I, my, I'm going to activate my ability. It's once per session for the encounter. I get plus four to my soak. Okay. Who would like to uh, take over for Tyson's dice rolling? I, I, know what to, I know what my stats are. I know what to roll. Okay. So if you can roll it, roll it. Oh. Oh, okay. If you're doing Dune, I'm assuming you're trying to climb up the side of this worm. Well, I'm not climbing. I just jumped at it with my with my axe. I'm, I'm going to take spot you know theirs to defend my party so they live okay <clears throat> go ahead and uh, roll an attack then all right let me pull over real quick okay just keep in mind too if oh. you can't see it this worm is massive it's at least 50 yeah. times your size so i finally took to uh aaron's uh advice and i need the name smaller so i can now see it so what you what what's the difficulty uh, difficulty to attack this worm is not going to be actually difficult at all. It'll be one purple because you're getting in melee. Uh, keep in mind, though, that this thing has, uh, sorry, one. So it gets upgraded from a purple to a red. Okay, okay. And B is for black, right? Uh, S is yeah. for black. S is S for is black. B is for boost. All right, so I'm going to... Do one S to do plus two damage, so here we go. And you said it's one red, right? It is one red, yes. 
Oof. What the fuck? Oh, I rolled two purples by accident. That's weird. What the fuck? Well, it's supposed to be green. Go ahead and re-roll. Dear God. It's supposed to be two greens. Well, yellow, yellow, green, green. There we go. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so your axe gets embedded in the side of this worm uh, right next to one of the chain deals. Uh, however, it doesn't really seem to notice that you did that. It doesn't really react at all. So I'm going to spend two strength okay. to go into, um, to do a, another maneuver. And I'm going to, fuck, I can't, we found out I can't do defensive stand lot and the other one. It won't do me nothing. So. I'm going to use my other two to do a maneuver so I can go into uh, my bodyguard position and uh, put bodyguard on the closest player to me, which I assume is Rudy, right? <coughs> uh, the closest to you is actually going to be... Actually, yes, it should be... Ru actually, all three of them are basically right next to you. Okay, well... We're all, I'm, like, right in the I'm going to make door. it difficult <laughs> for that square to be harder to hit. Okay. Uh, so are you wanting to not actually be attached to the worm then? You just want your axe to have hit and then kind of bounced out? Yeah, probably. I mean, I can't really see. I can't t I know some... Oh, oh, I noticed a wall is in front of me. Okay. Alrighty, so that is your turn. So that means it's now back to Tony. Tony, what would you like to do, sir? Is I, I completely spaced that last second. I, I, is he holding on? Or he is not. He has decided that he does not want to be attached to the worm. All right, I'm going to go charge this fool with my enchanted dagger. Oh my I'm going to try to jab at him I with the metal. I your right. ass! <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll the attack. Can I roll leadership instead of it? <laughs> <laughs> to do what? To inspire. Well, if you want to inspire everybody else, who are you? I guess I should ask, who are you trying to inspire? Um, Can Gorfang hear me? Yeah, I he can. could probably hear you. Let's get him, Gorfang. Let's get him! Ah! All right, go ahead and roll me a I leadership like check. <laughs> I never put a point in leadership. That makes me upset. <laughs> See, I'm not in my house, so I can yell and scream. There you go. All right, so the difficulty of said leadership check is going to be easy. So one purple. All right, ah. so Tyson, you get... Two boosts on your next one for being inspired by luggage to attack. Am I still able to attack? If you'd like to attack, yes, you can still attack. Heck yeah, I'm gonna stab this fool. Is it melee light? I'm gonna. Yep. Uh, what's the difficulty? Like just one? It's one per, or, or it's one red. red. It is one red due to adversary one. Any setbacks or anything weird like that to worry about? Nope. Yeah. Your dagger sure. finds about as much purchase as the axe did. <laughs> I, and I shout at it, go away, shoo. All right. The creature war, like, kind of winds back up and slams again into the side of the building, knocking both of you back into the center of the room without damage. What's up? Don't I get a resistant? Can I use my shield to, like... It's not no, necessarily attacking you guys. It's attacking the building. Uh, you guys just happen to be pushed back by the pressure of the wind as this thing attacks the side of the building. Oh, no resilience. Nope. Well, actually, go ahead and roll me a resilience check if you want to try and remain standing near the entrance without getting hurt. Yeah, what's the uh, difficulty? Uh, you're looking at daunting. So, four purples. That's it? That. It's not necessarily attacking you. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, as the thing attacks the side of the, the building, too, you guys see more dust kind of come down. Yeah, you oh, definitely get knocked. Cold. You All right, so here's what happens. You don't, like get knocked off your feet thrown back but you kind of slide back through the sand in like the uh, epic anime 
like slide as you take as the wind <laughs> hits you. So you All look right. badass doing it, but you do get pushed back. <laughs> I'm trying to prevent Rudy from being damaged from that, so hopefully I help some. That's my advantage is for Rudy. Okay. Yeah, nobody's gonna get hurt off of this. The thing's attacking the building. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so um, that a, leads us into Aaron's turn. Does the building look like it's going to collapse? Not at all. Apparently, whoever created this used really thick sandstone. In okay, fact, cool. if anything, you would think that... that this worm is just wasting its time. Okay, perfect. Can I... I want to summon two guardians. Can I do that? Yeah, you One should there. be able to. Yes. All right, so yeah, to think... summon multiple allies... Uh, so you're starting off with, what's your, what is it for your one guardian that I had you have? Uh, it was two purples, but it got downgraded to one. Okay, so you're actually going to be looking still at two purples. Even with your downgraded, so just, essentially it'd go up to three, but downgraded down to two. So to summon two okay. of your ancestor spirits, that's how you do it. Nice! So at least someone's rolling good. Wow. Uh, All right, so... A third one shows up. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we'll make it a third one. I can deal with that. And then I'm just going to roll three attacks, because that's what they're going to do. Oh, whoa, Jesus. What the hell? That's not what I wanted. Give me that. All right. And there you go. Three of them have appeared around the worm. <clears throat> Go ahead and just roll one attack for all of them, essentially. Okay. Attack for all of them. Uh... We'll just triple whatever okay. the damage is. And then it was a red difficulty, right? Yep, red difficulty. Oh. <laughs> all right, so they set the next person up very well. <laughs> Yeah, so the worm seems very distracted. Definitely not by your ghosts, necessarily. He's more distracted by just the building. <laughs> but your ghosts are definitely not helping matters. It seems that their spectral axes are confusing it more. All right, so, Christina, you're up. I am going to try and speak with it and find out why it's so Okay, how do you plan on speaking with it? Uh, well, the... Uh... If I can do the primal magic and speak with it, I will. Okay, go ahead and give me my, a hard magic. primal magic check. It'll right. be a utility, <laughs> but this will be under utility for you. Come on now. Let me go to my chart real quick. purple, purple. Three purple, right? Just making. Yep, three purple. Alrighty. The worm's mind opens before you. Uh, I will send you a private message as to what you see. Uh, while that is happening, the worm rams itself again into the side of the the uh, the cat or the temple, whatever the fuck. The pyramid. Rams, 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 and it just continually con tries to punch through this sandstone, but it just can't seem to do it. Alright, so next up is going to be Tony again. Go ahead, Tony. Um... I, I I hear her talking to it, right? Uh, she's not necessarily actually... Well, she's kind of conversing with it, but you don't understand what she's saying. Yeah. Um, I'm going to hide inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to strategize. I'll like, say, give me just a second, plan. guys. I'm thinking. Uh, can I roll like a forbidden knowledge on this thing or anything like that? Would it be forbidden to know it? To know what? Well, you said we had a guide. Ooh, this is something I can spend a story point for, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, we had a guide taking us to the desert. 
So maybe he told us about this worm. Ah. So do I roll like a standard lore based on this? Like, can I know anything more to help us? Okay, uh, go ahead and roll me a average lore check. And because you have a guide, he's somewhere inside here too with you. No, we don't have a guide anymore. He took us to the desert. Oh, okay. He's gone. Okay, got it. I was just concerned if that was an option for it. Difficulty of this? Uh, average, two purples. Nice. <clears throat> All right, so according to the legends and the lore of what the guide has told you and kind of what you've seen for yourself, uh, the worm itself, while it is a very big destructive force to an extent, uh, generally it has not been known to actually go on murderous rampages like this. Uh, when it does attack, it usually attacks like the occasional... Uh, uh, Essentially, like the your guys' special mounts that you guys found, the uh, Gorok Tulls, it generally hunts those, or like a large enough like band of orc that are going around. Um, it is definitely, in their history, never actually attacked settlements necessarily, unless they were out in the desert, like a tent city style settlement. Uh, and definitely never would attack, like, pyramids or anything like that. So, that's pretty much what you know. Okay, um, I don't feel like... Uh, that's anything that they didn't hear already, because you explained that last session. Uh... Can I make uh, me, like, an observation, like, put two to two together and say, like, Gorfang, uh, yank out those spears, see if he goes away? Yeah, you could try that. Uh, Gorfang, um, by the way, those spears in his back, I don't know if you felt it when you smacked your axe into this guy, but they might be irritating him. Can you, uh, yank it out? Sure. Not out. <laughs> yes, I'll yank it out. Alrighty. In a mean kind of way. <laughs> All right. So, anything else you'd like to do there, Tony? Nope, I'm fine. I, I'll throw another rock if you want me to. It's up to you. You can throw always rock. throw more rocks at it. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell it again. Um, and go away, you jerk. And throw a rock. All right, go ahead and roll the check. Same as last time. Get a critical hit. Oh, nice. I've canceled out. All right, so your your rock kind of just falls into the sand as you throw it. It kind of hits like the edge of the hole that you guys have to get in. That's as far as it goes. I'm used to that. Hits me in the back of the head, but no, thunk. <laughs> You're like, huh? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh, as your spectral ancestor spirits continue to try and slash at this giant worm, the worm kind of rears up and then just dives into the earth. The extra sand that it billows kind of wa almost washes away your spirits, and they wait, get kind of forced back. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Did I get skipped? I thought there were... Tony went twice before I have gone yet. Um... Mm. Because Tony, remember he tried to stab it and stuff after he jumped up last <laughs> round, and then I got shoved away when it attacked. Oh, and yeah, go ahead, Tyson. What are you doing? Has it died yet or no? What's up? Has it dived and gone away yet? Or no? no, the worm has not even been touched. Oh, okay, well, you said it was diving, so I was wondering if that happened or not. It. Well, I mean, it's going to, so it's up to you what you want to do. I'm going to... Wait, hold up, before I get help myself. My character will actually sniff in the air and around himself and mutter to himself about his... I smell my sister. Gosh darn it, I, I hate my sister! And he's going to charge at the thing, screaming at something, like, I, I hate my sister! 
All right. Go ahead and roll the attack, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> you reach up, grab onto the, one of those chain things. Okay, go ahead and give me a uh, athletics check to make it up to one of them to hold on to. This will also oh, okay. double as you like holding on to it. Oh God! Athletics dexterity, right? Yes. Uh, to, uh, well, yeah. I'll have you just roll the athletics. Or no, athletics is uh, brawn. Oh, thank God. Okay. So you're gonna roll. You're gonna roll a uh, a hard bra a hard athletics check. Hard, so th uh, three purple or four? Three. Three, okay. Let me pull up my character sheet. Yeah, it's going to be one yellow and three green. All right, I, th I don't think I... Yeah, I did put one in it. Nice. <laughs> All right. <coughs> one, red. one red and three green? No, one yellow, three green, and that's it. Or uh, three purple. I'll just... Just three purple, okay. Yep. All oh right. Oh my god, I did it. You're successfully grabbed a hold of one of the uh, spikes embedded in the creature's side. May I attempt to pull one out? Sure, I'll let you do that for your uh, action. Go ahead and roll the uh, same check, but this time it's going to be uh, with one red instead of. It'll be one red, two purple. Okay, am I using athletics still, or am I just going to... Athletics. Okay. <coughs> oh, can I use a story point to upgrade one of mine? Yeah, go ahead. That'll be two yellow, two green, one red, two purple. Hallelujah. Oh, All right. Nice. Yeah, you managed to yank it out. Uh, unfortunately, the way you do, as the creature dives into the sand, your foot gets wrapped up in chain. And you nice. get sucked under into the sand with it. I don't get no roll for this? Uh, <laughs> nope, you are chained to this, this creature. Oh, man. Uh, well, he's dead. So, <laughs> Gorfang is now just, boop, gone into the sand. <clears throat> and you guys don't hear any rumblings or anything at all. Well, how could I go down with it when I pulled it out? Because it was attached by chain to other rods. Oh. Yep. So, do I get a resistance to this or anything? You ha you rolled the uh, two setbacks. You're just, like, chained to it for the round. You can let go after this and essentially I claw your way to the surface it. if you want. <laughs> like, man, it's so hard to kill someone in this, and all of a sudden I'm just dead. <laughs> no, you're not dead. You're still alive. You're just being drugged through the sand with this worm. Nice. Alrighty. So that puts us up to... Uh-oh. I was going to say, it's actually uh, his turn. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back, Aaron. Alright. Well, I'm going to get situated in my house, and I'll be back on hopefully like just a few minutes. I don't know how to picture it's perfect timing. Yep. All right, All right, so Aaron, you're up. And there he goes. He must be having issues with his mic again. Hello. There we go. Alrighty, boss man, you're up. Got uh, me? Yep. So the so he's gone. Didn't yep, he? the worm just dove under the sand with Tyson attached. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come out here. Okay. I'm going to have my ancestor spirit. Uh, is there like a hole or did the, the hole, hole fill back? So essentially the hole, you can tell where the worm dug because there's a depression there, but the sand itself has kind of refilled it in. Okay. Picture something like tremors, but instead of having them eat the dirt, essentially it just fills in kind of behind them. Okay. Um, uh, everybody, search out. Go look for him. We can't. We can't lose him. Again. <laughs> so I'm gonna send my ancestor spirits around. Alrighty. To go look for him, and I'm gonna help that way. Alrighty. So what are the rest of you doing at this point in time? I'm gonna mention that the worm is sent to destroy the pyramid and anything in it. Oh. Uh, yeah. How was uh 
I was talking to the thing. That's what I found out. Oh. So it's probably going to come back? Yes, to the pyramid. What? <laughs> it's trying to destroy the pyramid. So it's going to come back, most likely. Yes. Uh, as you guys debate and stuff on this while you're searching for Tyson, uh, one of your ancestor spirits, gone. Uh, wait. What? <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Which one? That one. Uh, okay, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna have to come back to me. And keep an eye out. <laughs> Alright. As you guys kind of, I get, or as your ancestor spirits coalesce around you, uh, another one gone. Which what the direction fuck is happening? The magic coming from on the on the sand dune. Uh, go ahead and roll me a primal check. This is gonna, or yeah, go ahead and roll me a primal check. This will be an average check. Purple, right? Yep, two purple. Nice. Oh, wow. Christina, <laughs> you feel magic coming from this direction. Oh, I am going to look in that direction and point with the staff, like, that direction. Well, I'm going to, like, start going that direction because who the... Who, who gives... What gives them the right to start yes. messing with my ancestors? As you guys go that way, uh, Rudy, what are you doing at this point? Rudy! Rudy! Oh, snap. Rudy! <laughs> <coughs> I come running out of the cave screen or out of the temple screaming. Okay. Not a bad you? idea. Uh, I, I wanna this is why you went running out of the temple. Yeah, uh, there, there's... Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going in there. I will help you find uh, our friend, assuming those uh, super spoopy ghosts are not chased. Wait, are there more ghosts in there? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. What do you mean, maybe? I don't know, man. <clears throat> As you guys kind of are like, oh, sh what the fuck? Uh, through the haze of heat, you guys see this appear as soon as I freaking reveal it. That is what you see coming out of the dune, out of the sands. Oh, no. I don't have, I don't have the... I don't have the energy for this. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> man. Wow. All right. So let me get this real quick. All right. So now that you kind of see what's coming, uh, go ahead and roll me an Arcana check. The difficulty of this is going to be... Uh, tch, 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 where is it? Who's going to roll the Arcana check? You. Arcana okay. is based off of intellect, right? Yes. Yeah. Three reds. So roll your Arcana versus three reds. That looks like a child palpitating. I'm sorry. Oh! Hey! <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so you hear the chanting from the one in the back. And you feel as though your ancestor spirit is trying to depart back to the afterlife, but you're able to hold the ancestor spirit there. Excuse me. Excuse me, can you can you not? I'm working very hard to not die today, and you're making it extremely <laughs> difficult for me. All right, so uh, we've already got your guys's. Uh, uh, turn order here, so let me roll for the newcomers, and then we will continue with the fight. Alright. Since I'm last, I have to use the restroom over here back. Alrighty. That would be 1.1. Good <laughs> god, really? Wow, these things get to go even before Christina. That is sad. <laughs> Wow. I wasn't expecting this to happen tonight. 
I was actually expecting you guys to kind of be holding your own a lot better. All right, so these guys got a big you fat mean say nothing. I'm not doing amazing. <laughs> oh, you're doing fine. I'm just like, wow, these I'm are really taking the that, huh? And for you, you get to roll that. All right. Oh, wow. 1.2. Alrighty, so we still start off with Rudy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him the hands here. Are you ready for that? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hide behind Gorfang. <laughs> Gorfang's not here. <laughs> Gorfang is under the sand. <laughs> <Gorfang! laughs> Alright, so you start digging a hole to go after Gorfang. Luckily the sand's like fairly easy rock. to move. Is there like a flat rock that I can uh, use as like a little mini shovel? Sure, I'll give my you an improvised tool. Go ahead and roll me a uh, average athletic check to see if you can dig a, a hole at all. Oh man, athletics! <laughs> I looked at alchemy and thought it was athletics. I'm, like, I'm great at that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so go ahead and roll it. Is it average? Yeah. Yeah, you don't really okay. seem to be getting anywhere. The sand just kind of fills back in as you dig. It was worth a shot. <laughs> All right, so skip that one. Next up is this one. All right. So, let's see here. I have to roll for you guys, so that'd be this. This is not going to be pretty if this hits. <laughs> one, two, Ouch. three. I think it hit. She one, hit two... Me. All right, what'd y'all do? Yep, that oh, hits. Cool, cool, it quit. Yeah, <laughs> cool. No, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. All righty, so uh, it feels as though your soul is being ripped from your body. You hear a bell. You've actually heard this saying before. It sounds like a death knell. Uh, you take a total of nine points of damage, a crit. Mm -hmm. Yep, you. So you take nine points of damage with soak included in there, so go ahead and remove soak. Uh, you took a crit. You're ensnared for three turns, so you cannot move. And uh, go ahead and roll me a die 100. And then do you have uh, any I'm unhealed gonna... crits? <laughs> I'm going to use a story point to make that a one. A one? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so it's a one now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping that I was, I was hoping that'd do better. <laughs> Alright, hold on, I wanna just check something real quick. Let's see. Alright, oh so wait, this just does one damage to you? No, it's, uh, after suffering a critical injury and determining the result. Oh, it's uh, a one. It is result. considered a one. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, like, you, on the D100, you roll a one. All right. So we'll say that one of your two departed spirit ancestors, like, step into your place. Fuck yeah. You're still stuck in the same area, though, for three turns. <laughs> I hate to say it. So you cannot move. Okay. All right, so that's that one's turn. <laughs> uh, let's see who's next after this one. Uh, Aaron, you're up. All right, I'm gonna have my ancestor spirit take a take a swing. All right, go for it. This blue one. All righty. I love that. It was. And then what's the difficulty? Uh, it's going to be, for these guys, it's going to be one purple, but you're also going to have one black. Okay. Look, Rose. Wow. <laughs> I'm right. rolling amazing. Oh. There's 
the good rolls for everybody else. No, they're mine. Can I, can I do something dirty and uh, use that crit success to unentangle me? No, unfortunately that won't help. Gosh, diddly darn it. Okay, then I'll just crit on him. Okay. Uh, you uh, see, definitely. essentially your ancestor spirit swings mightily, taking out two of these skeletons at once. Oh, wow. Yeah, minion groups, when you crit them, they just instant die. Cool, yeah, that's that's seven damage. Yep, it's dead. <laughs> Alright, anything else you'd like to try and do, Aaron, even though you really can't move? Yeah, uh, that's. I think that's about it. Alrighty, after so after Aaron... Alright, so... <laughs> as they approach... <laughs> Actually, they'll get to there. <coughs> All right, so attacking the ancestor spirit. Let's see here. We have that, so that'd be. Whoops. Uh, do you have any armor normally? No. All right, so your ancestor spirit. The blades of these creatures just kind of go through it. Christina, this one is attacking you. It. Uh, you take a total of six damage. Minus soak. Okay, so four. You should have six soak. That's what I'm saying, so four damage. I dealt six damage. All right. You took no damage. <laughs> As right. this thing, it, your bark-like skin just, like, bing, bing, off this mut rusty blade. Like, <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? All right, so after they go, Christina, you are up. All right, I am going to use Primal Magic on this group here and use the sands and blow them away, or damage them or destroy them, just... Which group? This one in front of me. The one that just attacked me. Okay. Alright, so... Essentially, you're going to be rolling, and you're trying to blow them away slash damage them. So we'll just have this a attack. So you're looking at that. Two. Uh, ba 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 da. All right, so you're looking at a one red, one purple challenge. All right. Ow. Well, hey, yo. Ow. What the fuck? Ouch. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no. Damn, <laughs> and that happened. Okay. Wow. Why are we screaming and yelling. Uh, because Christina just rolled a triumph and a despair in the same roll. All right, so, failed. and you failed. So, Christina, what good thing, really good thing would you like to happen? It cannot, like, do what you initially wanted. So no damaging and no pushing yeah, away. Distract them. Distract them? All right, so they're seeing sand flying around them. All righty, and let's see here. For your lovely despair, what should I have happen? Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Christina, taking those failures along with your two crits there, or taking your two failures, how much uh, damage would you do if uh, those were successes? Those were successes. Four damage. Okay. Uh, how much soak does the ancestor spirit have? Oh. oh. <laughs> um, the, so the ancestor spirit has four soak. Okay, so your ancestor spirit... 
essentially just suddenly gets coated in dust. You can no longer see your ancestor spirit through the freaking sandstorm that Christina has just conjured around it. <coughs> All right, so... Uh, uh, anything else you'd like to do, Christina? Uh, I am going to use my tumble and move out of the way. All right, go ahead. Strain, but I'm going over there. All right, so Tyson, it is your yeah. turn. The worm has been dragging you underground. All you see is sand, sand, and more. Well, if you could see sand, all you, you feel, feel uh, all you feel is gritty, nasty sand everywhere in places that it should not normally be. <laughs> nice. Have I taken any damage? No, no damage has been taken. Uh, though you do find it hard to breathe under here with all this sand on top of you. All right. Well, you said the chain's attached to me, right? Yep. Essentially wound around your foot, so you can technically kind of do like almost like a sit-up to grab the chain and then pull yourself as you How need to. How am I going to do that on, in the sand? I don't know. Oh, it's cinematic. Figure it away. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, is there another rod? Since I'm assuming I'm being dragged, my body's laid out against it. Is there another rod near my fingertips? Uh, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Okay. I fail. Do I sense it? Roll me a perception check. Oh. Perception isn't based on just your sight, boss. It's based Jeez. on everything. Sound, smell, taste. All Why of it. It's going to be so difficult. <laughs> anyway. What is the um, difficulty? Average with a setback due to the fact you're being drugged through sand. So one black and two purple? Yep. Right. Oh my. Well, I'm glad I never invested in this. <laughs> Do I still get the boost from Rudy? Yeah, I'll give you the boost. Because I don't think I ever used it. Nope. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. As you kind of feel along the back of the worm, your hand clenches around another rod. So I'm going to use my foot and that rod, and I'm going to pull them together. Okay. Like doing a crunch. Okay, and I'm assuming you're trying to pull out the rod as you do? Mm-hmm. All right, give me an athletics check. Uh, the difficulty... I may, I may pull out the rod the chains attack to, too. That's possible. Uh, go ahead and roll me a hard with a setback athletics check. Hard with the setback? Yep. Okay. With a setback. Oh, Ooh, can I use my advantages? That is fine, and I'm going to spend a story point to change one of the reds or one of the purples into a red. Well, I'm going to spend a story point turn one of my greens into a yellow. So That's fine. Fair. <laughs> I'm not doing it to be malicious. I'm doing it to give yeah, you guys you back cute. your shit. <laughs> Wow, that's a fail, oh. or a critical <laughs> fail. Oh, wow. Oh, I no. still succeed, yes, but you something do. bad happens. <clears throat> all right. Um, all right, so you've been down here one round. Mm -hmm. All right, what is your... Uh, hold on, let me check the rules on this real quick, because i got to remember how this works. Okay. Uh, what is your brawn characteristic? Four. All right, so normally... You may hold your breath for a number of rounds equal to your brawn characteristic. That has now been halved. So you have one more round before you start suffocating. Perfect. All right. So anyway, that's Good. your despair because <laughs> something forces the air out of your lungs. You're not sure what it is. Maybe it's the worm's body as it turns. You don't really know, but you're now like, oh, shit, I have less air. Um, did, I, did I pull two out or one? Uh, you just pulled out the one that you wanted to pull out with your hand. Uh, you can still feel the chain attached to both of them, so you can technically use your the new one to kind of shimmy your way to the next one if you'd like. Uh, but that'll have to be next round. All right. All right, so after Tyson goes, we have... Back to the top of the round. Tony, you're up. Oh, Tyson, for your cin cinematic... You hear the worm kind of rumble under the earth as it continues to dig. 
and it changes a direction rapidly upon you. Cool. Uh, alrighty, Rudy, you're up. Uh, can I bottleneck if I uh, kind of clog this way over here? Because I see there's skeletons coming out of the... If you would like to attack them there, yes, you can bottleneck them in where they can't get out. Okay, I will do that. Um, trying to buy some time, because my best buddy, Mr. Meat Shields, uh, not doing too high. I will also stab them with my dagger, because I know daggers do so well against skeleton. All right, go ahead and roll yeah. the attack. Uh, they have one setback added to your check, so it'd be one purple, one black. And it's a hit. How much damage? I honestly have no idea. I have my brawn. Uh, what does your dagger give you? It says it won't break. Oh, okay, so it's based <laughs> off... You never gave me a weapon. Oh, shit, sorry. Uh... <laughs> this, is, this is the closest thing to a weapon you've given me. And it just won't. All right, hold on. So, daggers. Uh, you're looking at plus two to your brawn is the damage. So go into your weapons real quick, and I'll tell you what you need to type in. Okay, so go to add, or oh. click add, once you've got that. Weapon type is dagger. Yep, uh, put obsidian dagger, because this is a special dagger. It's a magic one. All right, so its skill is melee light. Uh, whatever your brawn is, add two to it, and that's the damage. Oh, man, is that just going under features? Uh, that'll be under damage. If you look at the top of the weapon, it'll say damage, critical, encumbrance, and HP. Oh. So whatever your brawn plus two is, that's the damage. Nothing for critical, you said? Uh, nothing on... Or for critical, you have a three... It's already got the correct range. Encumbrance is 1. HP is 1. And then under qualities, I want you to put accurate 1, which means anytime you attack, you actually get a boost to that. So go ahead and roll a blue die with that. Okay. I already rolled the thing before it was a success and threat. Do you want me to roll the blue anyway? Yeah, go ahead and roll the blue, because it'll give you a... Uh, it could potentially give you more damage. Just roll the blue. You don't have to roll anything else there. All right, so you got two successes and no threats. All right, so whatever... So it does five damage total. Okay. Versus these guys. And then uh, I'll tell you what the second quality is, because I don't remember what the quality is that it can't be broken. Alrighty, so that is five damage versus that, so they take... Alright, one of the skeleton looks pretty pretty bad off, but the other two that are with it are just like, as they come in for you. Alrighty, which leads us to the worm. Tyson, the worm continues to dig in a direction that you have no idea where it's at. Uh, for everyone else this round, you take a setback as the sands shift underneath your feet as the creature digs basically underground below you. Alrighty, which after the worm, it is now going to be Aaron's turn. Aaron, you're up. Alright, I'm going to have my, uh, so that's two turns of being immobilized? Yep, this is turn two for you. Okay, then he's going to go for this uh, Ancestor Spirit. Alrighty. And then uh, two setbacks. Uh, with your Ancestor Spirit, yes. Oh, okay. actually, with your Ancestor Spirit, disregard the setback, because your Ancestor Spirit isn't affected by this. So it's okay. one black, not two. 
Okay, cool. That's, All right. Uh, eight damage. Uh, ignoring how much this out. Let me see. Uh, one sec. Uh, it has pierced two, so ignoring two soak. All right, so eight damage minus two soak, or ignoring two soak. All right, so you completely destroy one of the skeletons and badly wound another. Nice. And, uh... Uh, Kestrock is in the back. Yeah! Get him! Get him! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I guess that's my turn. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for you, which means that it is now this other one's turn. Alrighty. Let's try this roll again. You hear the bells again as this creature, or the person tries to get you again with the death knell. You not. (laughs) Oh, man, that's a crit. (laughs) Nick claims he never tries to kill us every session. Yeah, this... Story-wise, this is kind of going to happen, so... All right, uh, which means... Uh, let's see here. So, that is eight points of damage. Uh, you take a crit, and you're ensnared for three more turns. All right. All right, cool. Uh, it does not stack with your other one, though, so disregard that last one. You just now have three turns, not four. So, all right, so... Uh, how many, how many crits do you have on you that are unhealed? I don't think I have any right now. All right, so go ahead and roll me a die 100 then. Uh, 83. No. All right, so <laughs> this, it feels, you feel cold. 83. How much damage did I take? Oh, shit. All right, I need you to roll me a a die ten, just one die ten. Uh, you took eight minus your soak, by the way. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, this is gonna suck. You're gonna need to note this down too, by the way, and remember this. This is not gonna be pretty. So, oh, an eight. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> wow, this sucks. I die. I'm going to be so upset at you. <laughs> uh, this is almost worse. All right, hold on. i got to do something real quick. i got to check something. There it is. All righty. Uh, <laughs> so, as you hear this death knell, your, your ancestor spirits attempt to essentially try and stop... Uh, stop whatever's happening because it almost feels again like you're being sucked into the, uh, the a plane where you really don't want to go. Uh, as you k- sit there and think about how you could fight this, you realize something. You're thinking slower, and it feels as though a piece of your soul has been ripped apart from it and damaged. Uh, what this means for you, your cunning for the duration until this injury is healed is now considered one less so you're rolling oh, two cunning ow. as this death knell just digs into your essentially psyche alrighty don't worry about actually reducing it uh, keep it at three just note that it's going to be treated as a uh, two because it doesn't permanently reduce it. Okay. Uh. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, that was an ouchie. I wasn't expecting that crit. Let's see. After that, it is Christina's turn. Alright, I'm going to use the sands. I'm going to slam the staff into the ground. And I'm going to just try and suck those three into the ground. Alrighty. Let's see here. So range from you to them, since this is an attack spell, kind of. 
Alrighty. So, Christina, that is one purple to start. Non-lethal damage, which is going to be another purple. You're trying to do range, which is going to be one extra purple there. And uh, that's about it. So, how many purples did I say? Four? Three. All right. Yeah, you. unfortunately, you're not it. <laughs> I roll it again? Four or three? Uh, we'll just leave it at three. Well, at least I didn't critically fail. Yeah, so luckily the magic doesn't really seem to do anything. Ah! Aaron, I told you not to take all the good rolls. There... Just so okay. you're aware, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. There's a lot of enemies and stuff to maneuver with. All right, so after Christina, it is Tyson's turn. Tyson, you're up. Well, I'm still underground, right? Yes, you're still underground. Uh, this That's is your final... Is yes. This is your uh, final round of air, and after this, you start suffocating. Perfect. Oh, shit. I forgot to set that, guys. Oh, well. Yeah, it doesn't I'm going matter. to uh, pull myself up the chain. Alrighty. Or you know, or maybe try to get untangled. It's up to you. Which do you, would you prefer? But can I really swim sand? Uh, you can try and dig your way out. You're not sure how far down you are, but you can definitely oh try and dig. I'm trying to get the thing to go up. All right. So why not try and roll a writing check using the chain then? All right, let's try a writing check. I don't have any writing, but we'll we'll give this a, a whirl. Let me see here. What would it be the difficulty to write a worm? <laughs> All right, so uh, to try and ride this worm, you are going I, I to knew be. I should have spent a point in this. <laughs> well, I guess fantasy. I should maybe put some writing. No. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay, so to control this worm, essentially what you need to roll me is a. Let's give it a hard writing check. I'm going to use a story point to upgrade it by one red. So it's one red, two purple. One red, two purple? Oh, my God. I'm going to use a story point, too, you jerk. <laughs> All right. One red, two purple? Yep. Right the lightning, bitch. Uh, wrong channel, by the way. Mm hmm all right, so you rolled that in the general channel, not the other. Oh, let me roll in the right channel. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll let, I'll let you re-roll. <laughs> Just so you guys know, if you do that in the wrong channel, I'm going to count it from now on. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. So, Tyson, you get kind of, as you do this, you as you try to pull the worm, and you're successful. The worm feels like it's moving a direction that you think you want to go, which you assume is up. Uh, mm -hmm. Straight down, got it. To actually force it to do this, you were forced to wrap yourself in chains more around, like your hands. You're you're chained to this spot until you untangle yourself from these chains. Because as the worm pulls up, it locks these chains in place around your arms. You are now basically bound to this worm. Nice. <clears throat> All right, so Tyson, I need you to roll me. Let's see here. I'm going to turn this into. I need you to roll me a six-sided die. What? Wait. Uh, that doesn't oh. work here. <laughs> I tried. That was pretty badass, though. Yeah, that was actually really badass. All right, All so right, you need to roll I got, it. I got it right here. I got, I got it right here. I got it right here. Okay. Right. What did I roll? You rolled a six. six. All yeah. right, so Tyson, let me move both of you over here. You guys both pop up way over here. All right. <clears throat> Can I magically have a, a cowboy hat and go, yeah? Uh, you guys on the other side of the thing hear a, yeah, essentially, <laughs> as you hear more, thum, as the worm digs back into the sand. All right, top of the round. Tony, you're up. Uh, I'm going to stab at this guy again. All righty, <laughs> go for it. Why? I'm keeping them at bay. I'm crazy like that. <laughs> what, me? No, I'm just dying. 
I'm panicking. Are you dying? <laughs> I don't know that. My character doesn't hear you screaming and. In... I'm not. Screaming Do I hear him screaming in pain? No, there there doesn't appear to be any screaming. If you guys happen to look at him, he looks like he's drooling. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm so you you saw a hot chick? I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> It's a purple and a setback, or two purple? It's a purple and a setback. I'm going to upgrade the purple to a red, though, using a story point. All right. Yeah, no, nah, you don't hit him. Okay. Well, that was worth a shot. I shout, go away! Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can hear a little voice. No, you definitely don't hear it after all the sand and stuff. <laughs> That's in my ear. Yeah. yeah, you're pretty much like like deaf to this. You can only go by feel at this point and smell. The only reason you know you're out of the sand is because you can smell fresh air. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, and feel sunlight on your skin. What's not coated in sand? Yeah. Well, I know I'm above ground because I can breathe. It reminds me of uh, Indiana Jones. All right. <laughs> so you guys suddenly see the worm come zipping past the temple, headed, like, north. As And you see on top of it, orc. An orc just sitting there, chained, essentially, riding, standing up, chains wrapped around his arms, as this worm just kind of barrels past. <laughs> going, going, yeah! All right, after the worm's turn, uh, we move into Aaron's turn. Um, can I try and get unbound? Uh, if you would like to roll like a barrier check to see if you can break it, then I will allow that. I can't. Uh, is that would that be a primal thing? Primal uh, can't be barrier. Nope, only Arcana or Divine. If you want to try and. Um, if you want to try a utility spell, I'll let you use a utility spell to try and break your way free of this ensnarement effect. The difficulty is going to be three reds. Got this! Nope. Unfortunately, you're not <laughs> able to. Luckily, you do know now, though, you're starting to feel how the chains are kind of built, so you get a boost next time you try. Okay, and then my uh, my guardian is going to, my spirit is going to go after this one guy again. Alrighty. Uh, and then, is it purple and a setback? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's stuff right there. How much damage are we looking Ayo! at? Uh, 10 damage. Ignoring two, two so. Uh, pierce. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. So, your your spirit chops through both of the uh, remaining skeletons there as well. Then he's going to point at this other skeleton and just like, you should run. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll me a coercion check. See if it works. Uh, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coercion. Oh, that's gonna be dang. Uh, what's the difficulty? Uh, do do do. Coercion versus uh one purple. Oh, he's running away very far. The, the skeleton's <laughs> bones kind of rattle, and it it changes direction from where it's like, yeah, I'm going to go find easier prey. <laughs> Alrighty, Christina, it is your turn to see if you get hit by the death knell. Oh, hey. mm. Yay. Yep. Uh, nine points of damage. 
At least you didn't get crit like I did twice <laughs> in a row. <laughs> so Christina takes nine points, so that's three total points of damage to you since your soak is that high. <laughs> Uh, in addition to that, though, you are now ensnared, so you cannot move for three rounds. Ouch. As you hear kind of this deathly hollow bell just ringing around you. All right, that is that one's turn. So after that... So is the is the bell like a physical object that she's ringing, or is it like a, a magic spell? It sounds like a bell is around you. The actual spell name is Death Knell. Death Knell? Okay. Yep. So it's, it's a spell, not like a, she has a magic enchanted item. Yep. Like that. All right, so Rudy, you, you suddenly hear skeletons coming up from behind you as well as in front of you. And they both attack. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> 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 Poor Rudy. He's getting attacked from both sides. He's stuck in the middle. Whoops. Roll. <laughs> Let's see. They have a total of yellow, yellow, green, a purple, no setback. Roll. And they completely fail. Ah. But they set you up on the other side. So as you dodge that, the next group gets a boost. Let's see, have they been... Nope, they're still all there. Purple boost. Oh, all right. So, Rudy, you take a total of six points of damage as this... Uh, oh, man, I'm down again. Uh, <laughs> Do you not have any soak? Oh, I do have soak. I got two. All right. I thought it was after so you only soak. take four. No, no. If I tell you damage, I will tell you if it, it ignores soak. So always include soak subtracting from your damage gotcha 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 i'm still standing somehow all right so give me another d 100 no what i thought i was standing uh, you are standing i rolled three that's all i need for a crit so you took a critical hit as these guys hit you so roll a die 100 okay. how many uh crits do you have on you i think like four all right yeah, nick, nick is um. actively trying to kill us tonight all right so yeah he really wants us dead <laughs> okay. Oh no, I only got three. I only got three critical injuries. Okay, so that this puts you. At, okay, so that puts you at ninety then. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> let me think how to describe this. Uh, the skeleton's knife plunge as you dodge. The skeleton's knife plunges into the small of your back. It you have the most searing pain you have ever felt in your life. And for some reason, your legs and arms go partially numb. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. All right, so what that means for you in game, uh, increase the difficulty of all skill checks by one until this critical injury is healed. <clears throat> so crit 90. Go ahead and make sure you have that written down somewhere, too. That way we can keep track. <laughs> Alrighty, that is that one's turn. Is this cool one, use all skill checks go up by one. You... Yep, all skill checks go up by one. So that includes combat checks. Alrighty, so after that, after they go six is Christina. You're up. I'm gonna try and break out of this. All right, go ahead and roll a hard uh, magic check with three reds. Oh, you got a crit success, though. Yep. All right, so uh, what would you like to do with your triumph? Out of the chain. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, technically, that would be a legit way to do it. What? Uh, what was that? She didn't hear you. You can repeat it. I made a joke that said, you get me out of the chain. <laughs> All right, then I can do that. It's like... All right. So for some reason, you feel magical power surrounding you, and suddenly you're free of your ensnarement. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can move. <laughs> All righty. That is Christina's turn, because she can't move. So, Tyson, you're up. Really? 
Yeah, you're up. Um, do, can, I don't know where the party is. Uh, no, you have no idea. You're just riding this giant ass worm. <laughs> hmm. I really want to use this worm to help attack everyone else, but being blinded is shortcoming. <laughs> well, you could. <laughs> Tyson, you could always roll, roll a riding check, and then we'll just base it off of a D6 or a D8 to see which direction you go. Well, I don't want to go directly into the party. I want to, like, make a horseshoe here. Okay, so go ahead. Actually, you know what? We'll do a riding check, but we'll include your blindness in this. So give me the same riding check you had before but add two setbacks to it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wait, wait, wait. You upgraded it last time, you jerk. Uh, I will spend a story point to upgrade it. Gosh dang it. Well, I'm going to spend it back at you, you jerk face. All right, go ahead. Roll it. Roll it. I want to see this worm run over everything. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I wanna... What's the... Uh... What was the difficulty? I don't... I'm trying to find it. Uh, if I remember right, it was hard. I want to say it was uh, a hard one, riding check. One red and two purples? Yeah, that seems about right. With two setbacks due to blindness. Oh my god. Fuck you, man. <laughs> You're the one wanting to ride this thing into Wait. battle. <laughs> Wait. Do it. I, I believe boost. in you. Wait, hold up. Can I get a boost because I can feel the warmth of the sun on my skin to know which direction to go? Okay, I'll give you that because as you turn, you know kind of where the sun's at. I'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. Good I mean, call. And I'm, sure I, I'm sure I can hear scraping on the side of the building, right? Yes, you can hear that, so I'll give you one boost for both of those. All right, perfect. All right, here we go. If I make this... This would be fucking epic. Setback, setback, <laughs> boost, right? Yellow, green, green, red, purple, purple, setback, setback. All right, here we go. I think this is it. Oh, wow! wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn! <laughs> All right. All right, so the worm... So here's what happens for your turn. I'm going to let you essentially have the worm kind of get up right here. Okay, All on right. the worm's turn, it will still continue, but... For now, that's as far as it gets. All right. And this actually does not change what I was going to do. Despite how it's going to look here, this doesn't change what I was going to do. All right. Uh, you see the two wraith-like entities slow, like basically glide across the sands and come at you and your ancestor's spirit. Let's see. Wraith here. Uh... Okay, so let us roll for their attack. That's epic, Tyson. I can't believe you're actually steering this worm towards to run everything over. I'm trying. <clears throat> All right, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why these are so fucking deadly. I remember now. Tyson! <laughs> oh, great. I'm going to die. Uh, do you ha give any setbacks due to armor? No, not due to armor. Okay. Yeah, you're not really... Do you have any story points? Uh, yes, you guys do have story points. Okay. Do you want to use it to upgrade the difficulty here? Uh, I... uh, should I, guys? That's a... You guys have plenty of story points, boss. Use them. Might oh. as well. Oh, can I use... Actually, I'll make this easier. I'm going to use one to upgrade the attack roll on this guy. So there, you've got an extra story point to use now. Yeah, I'll, I'll use it to upgrade the difficulty, I guess. Alrighty. So, here is the attack. Wow, and that's a miss. Alright, somehow this sets up the other wraith to attack your ancestor spirit. So, one boost, okay. or two boosts to that for the four successes. Uh, let's see. Yellow. I'm going to use another story point to upgrade one more. Do you want to upgrade using a story point as well? Yeah, I do. Okay, that. Boost, boost. Oh, damn! I <laughs> am going to use a, a story point to make that crit a one. So uh, that I'm only, if you're doing your dwarven thing, that only works oh, on you. Once a day, isn't it? Yep. And it only works oh, on you. That... It will not work on your ancestor oh, spirit. 
Oh, that was on the ancestor spirit. Yeah, it's yes. attacking the ancestor spirit, not you. Oh, okay. I was, I, I'm a little less worried now. Okay, <laughs> so your ancestor. Go ahead and roll me a uh, magic check, though. Give me a, give me a hard magic check to see if your ancestor spirit remains on this plane with that. Uh, hard is uh, two, three, three. Three purples. Okay, yes. <laughs> All right, so your ancestor spirit takes two damage, and there is no soak applicable. Okay. Uh, luckily, because you rolled well enough, uh, you feel mental backlash. Go ahead and take a total of, hopefully this doesn't knock you out, two strain. Two strain? Yep. Oh, no. Alrighty, so that is their turn, which means it is now... Oh, Tony, you are up, sir. Okay. Hmm. Do I hear and notice this giant evil worm being piloted by Gorfang? I'm sure you do. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you're going to miss this. <laughs> Um, I think because of my size, I can sneak through enemies larger than me, or sneak through their threatened squares. Is that possible? I'll allow it. Uh, I'm going to roll a perception check to see if they notice, and if they do, they're going to get a free attack on you, but yes. Oh, well, I die next turn anyway, so I don't mind that so much. Um, <laughs> I am... Do I notice this weird lady doing her weird thing in the back? Yeah, she's pretty hard to miss, too, when you have a second to look. All right, so I'm going to hope that she's the only living thing controlling these guys, uh, using my great knowledge of necromancy. I don't have any knowledge of <laughs> And a uh, <laughs> shout, Gorvang, if you can hear this rock, I'm going to throw it at the lady you need to charge at. Okay. I'm going to run to here. All right, hold on. Let me roll the perception to see if you make it first. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, what is perception based off of? I think cunning. Uh, yes. Yeah. Cunning. Uh, it's gonna be three purple or two per two purple due to that setback due to combat, another setback due to lack of actual eyes, and having to sense you magically. Do you have magic? Are you magical? I have a magic dagger. But you yourself don't cast spells. No. Okay, no, I do then not. I'll give them an additional setback. They do not notice. You are fine. Awesome, I'm going to throw a rock. You know what? I'm going to throw my sandstone rock that I have in my treasures. Oh, this, <laughs> is, this is the best. Actually, yeah, I'm throwing the special rock. It's, it's got some... <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I cannot gain boost. All difficulty of all checks go up by one, and I... I don't know what hamstrung is. I only know hamstrung. Uh, hamstrung is essentially you lose a free maneuver until this critical injury is healed, so you can't move twice. God, you've got all the fun ones on you. So it's three purples because it's usually what two, and yeah. now I get an extra one. Yep. All right, well, I'm, I'm throwing in the general vicinity, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, it hits the sand, like, right here, right in front of the necromancer. The necromancer's like, what the hell? All right, the worm's turn. Tyson. Yeah, I'm here. All right, I need you to roll an attack for me. Since you're the one oh, attacking, I, I want you to roll me another riding check for an attack. Uh, to see how much damage we're going to do here. The difficulty of it is going to be easy, because this you're basically running over the area that you need to run over. All right, so what do I need to roll for the writing check? One purple. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm going to use the story point to upgrade it too, by the way. One red instead. <laughs> Do 
Do I still get a boost for the sun? Yeah, I'll actually you're going to get a boost too because Rudy is uh, trying to help you too. So two boosts. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right, so <laughs> everything, everything in this vicinity as it crosses by right there gets a total of uh, six damage, ignoring soak. Do I take oh, that dead. damage? Uh, no. Since you're not in that circle right there, you're not gonna take it. Oh, okay. So the circle that it currently is taking up. Yeah, essentially you see the black border. Anything within that circle yeah. is going to take six. Okay, so my ancestor spirit is gone. Alrighty. Bye-bye, ancestor spirit. Just move that up here out of the way. Because I'm assuming you're going to try and summon it again at some point. Alrighty. Yeah, I can't right now, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so basically this, she gets flung back into the sand. Tyson is just riding by. Uh, Tyson, go ahead and give me another riding check. Uh, difficulty is going to be the same as everything else before it, minus the boosts for the sun, etc. Because now you're trying to control this worm again. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, sorry, uh, I meant the other riding, not the uh, single dice. It's not an easy check, it's a hard check. Okay, the worm dives with Tyson on top of it again. Oh, no. As it gets here, it just boop, it dives back under the ground. Alrighty, so that is the worm's turn. Uh, after that is Aaron's turn. Uh, I think I'm going to have to... Uh, do we have two story points to use? Yes. Uh, I'm going to heal three wounds. Alrighty, I'm assuming you're my, using your my, uh, heroic ability for this. Yeah, yeah, my heroic ability to heal three wounds. And then, uh, how okay do these wraith ghost things look? They are fairly well defined, so they do not look uh, very injured at all. Okay, how okay does the chick over there look? Uh, she looks... Uh, she doesn't look too good. Like, she looks like she's still got some health to her, but she looks like she's not... She's bleeding pretty good. Apparently the like worm scraped her up pretty good. Worm. Yeah, pretty much. She looks like she got hit by a giant sandworm. Okay. Um, can I run over to her and try and hit her? Sure. Let me see if the wraiths get a attack of opportunity on you. This is based on cunning. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There they are. And two purple. Nope, they don't notice. Yep, you just run right past them. Alright, and then I'm going to attack her with my axe. Alright, go ahead and roll it. Yes. Oh. Uh, go ahead and roll me a, uh, a red dice instead. Sorry, this one has uh, advers adversary one as well. You didn't have to re-roll the oh. whole thing. All right, so essentially you got one success and three advantages. Okay. All right, so how much damage do you do? I do uh, seven... One... Yeah, seven damage ignored uh, Pierce 2. All right, so she goes down. How would you like to do this? Hey! I'm, I'm just going to, like, yell at her, Stop with the damn bell! And just, like... <laughs> All righty. All right, so with that, you see, as you kind of turn around after knocking her to the sand... 
feeling accomplished. You look back and you realize that the wraiths kind of shake their head, look at you, and then they start to glide towards you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so after that would be her turn, but she's gone, so that puts us at the reanimates. They kind of start wandering over towards Rudy and Dahlia. <laughs> We're gonna get destroyed. <laughs> I don't know, you guys have prolonged the inevitable so far. Why not keep trying for that? Good the inevitable. God. That, that means we're going to die. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't have killed to... you yet. Yet being yet. the key word. Purple. These no. words you keep using don't instill a lot of confidence. All right, so Christina's okay <laughs> off the first one. The second one gets set up and still can't fucking hit her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, against Rudy now. Let's see. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Goodbye. God. <laughs> oh, nice All right, Rudy, you take a total of uh, eight points of damage, minus soak. <laughs> Do I go into the negatives at all? Uh, you will, but you're not going to actually die based off of it. Should I just set myself to zero then? Yeah, just set yourself to zero as you go unconscious. Uh, roll me another die 100. We're adding four to this one, or 40 now. Oh, no! All right, so 52. 92. No, I, I added in the 44. Oh, you only rolled the 12. Oh, okay. 52. Got it. 52. All right. Uh, this skeleton stabs you, and then as you hit the dirt, it stabs you a couple more times. Uh, wow. You increase the difficulty of all presence and willpower checks by one until this critical injury is healed. Fearsome wound. You need to, like, be put in a medically induced coma try and heal. So you oh, all right. <laughs> I, I'm looking at his, like, crits. Can you repeat like... that? All right, so it is fearsome wound. You increase the difficulty of all presence and willpower checks by one until your critical injury is healed. God, poor Rudy. <laughs> of presence and will? Yes, presence and will. Gotcha, I'm a slow typer. No worries. Alrighty, so that is Rudy, or that is the reanimates turn. Uh, six. Christina, you're up. You have two reanimates literally right next to you trying to stab you. And I'm stunned, still. Uh, not stunned, ensnared. Ensnared still, but can I cast spells? Uh, yeah, you're gonna take a, you're gonna upgrade one to a red doing it, but yes. And I'm gonna try and have those two swallowed up by sand. Alrighty. So you know the roll already. <laughs> Hello, yellow, green, red. And Maybe. two purple. I was looking it up. One, two. All right. Hey! Yeah. And they get sucked into the sand. Uh, uh, let's see here. I'm going to use that one to indicate that they are in the sand and stuck. All righty. Though Christina is also stuck. So we'll use that. Yes, one. I am. <laughs> All righty. Um, let's see. So you basically you essentially ensnared them for a round so they have to dig their way back up just to get at you again all right so after christina is tyson's turn tyson you're up all righty so you are still riding the worm the worm is digging digging through the tunnel uh, or through the sand, you guys can actually see it, physically see it, and there's this little like poof of sand on the top that you're assuming is going to be uh, uh, Gorfang. But otherwise, he doesn't break the surface again at the moment. Uh, for all of you, uh, hold on, let me move this here. Tyson, I'm going to put it on the token layer so you can see, but that's where you're at, underground. All right, so that means it is the Wraith's turn. 
Oh no. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, well, I'll see you guys in hell. Um, Alrighty, let's see here. They're gonna miss you. They're gonna hit you. Purple. They're, they're both gonna hit me, and I'm gonna die. Oh, All right. Not gonna hit you. Come on, they missed uh, me. Come on. Now. Stuff of that. Oh wait, I got that wrong. No, I don't. What do I mean? I'm using a story point. Would you like to use one? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I think I have to. <laughs> all right. Uh, you take a total of three points of damage that ignore all of your soak. Oh, by the way, this is stun damage, so that means it takes out your strain, not your wounds. Oh. So I'm down. Yep, you go unconscious. Um, I go unconscious because I'm strained. Pink, you're down. Go ahead and roll me a die 100. And then I need to know if you have any other uh, criticals on you at the moment. Oh, wait, you do, because I already hit you with one. Yeah, hey, you're dead. So that'd be 40, 40 is what you're looking at. All righty, bowled over. Uh, you are knocked prone and suffer one strain. <laughs> it doesn't affect you. All right, so you're cool, prone. I, well, I fell down anyway. So I'm yeah. going to be prone anyway. All right, so the second rate digs its little fingers into your head. Give me another die 100. And oh, add, no. uh, <laughs> add 20 to this one. What? 82. 82. Oh. 82. Alrighty, uh, you cannot voluntarily suffer strain to activate any abilities or gain additional mover maneuvers until this crit is healed. So you're winded. Alrighty. So, uh, yeah, essentially you're having the worst nightmare that you've ever had at this moment. Uh, which leads us back to the top of the round. Rudy is unconscious. Uh, that puts us, after that, to the worm. The worm breaches the surface. Tyson riding on its back majestically. Uh, the only issue is it now begins to fall straight backwards with Tyson on top. Uh, Tyson, let me roll the attack for this. Purple setback for the armor. Is there anything else I need to know about as far as the attack, Tyson? Okay, one setback, got it. All right, so Tyson, luckily for you, as the worm falls, it has to rotate because of the uh, pyramid, and it just barely misses dropping on top of you. <clears throat> which, after the worm's turn, would be Aaron. Aaron's unconscious, which would be the necromancer, which the necromancer's <laughs> unconscious, which leads us into the reanimates. And they, this one comes after Christina. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Like, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Brawl. Oh, the two original characters are st well. People I'm playing with you are still up. All right, so Christina, you take a total of no damage because <laughs> this thing can't get through your freaking soak. Uh, the other two spend the round climbing back out of the little sand trap you made. All right, so that's Christina's turn now. Go ahead, Christina. I think that's your third turn being ensnared, too, so that's broken after this round. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to do the, the, the billowing sands again and blow them back and try and do damage. All right, go for it. Uh, upgrade, it's going to be a hard check still, upgrade, or, sorry, daunting check now with one red. And can I use a story point to change that? Uh, you can use a story point to upgrade, yes. Alright, so, green, blue, three purple and a red? Three purple and a red. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> All right, nothing happens. No magic, nothing. You just take the two strain from the magic. Fuck. 
Alrighty, which means it is now Tyson's turn. Tyson, what are you doing, sir? It's your turn. What are you doing? No. Oh, oh, and my I bad, said... my bad. Oh, what? I think I'm gonna get off the thing. What? Get off the worm? Yeah. All right. So go ahead and roll me a uh, coordination check to get yourself unbound by these chains. Okay. Uh, the difficulty is gonna be hard. Would it be like dangling from it because I'm on the ground? Say that one more time. Wouldn't it be a little bit easier? There's slack in the chain now because I'm on the ground. I'll give you a boost for slack. Okay. And what's the difficulty again? Hard. No. Are you going to upgrade me again? Nope. I'm not going to upgrade you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought gonna... about it. <laughs> wait, wait. Can I, can I boost myself? Yeah, if you'd like to. It... Uh. I didn't know if there's any story points. Yeah, there's plenty. Everybody's been bouncing them back and forth pretty quick. Yeah, still... you're still stuck. <laughs> well, I tried. All right, so after Tyson goes to the race. Uh, and they go right after Christina. Mm-hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, they can't go after mm -hmm. the worm. It's not going to do anything. And Tyson's riding the worm, so why the I'm hell would they want that? I'm to get down, guys. <laughs> I swear, I, I did damage. <laughs> You definitely right, did. Give you that. Yellow, green, green. And you're going to use a red on it, Christina? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to use the story point two to upgrade one of them. And the first wraith misses. Are you wanting to use the story point again? Red. Is everybody down but me and Christina? Yep. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, Christina, you Sorry, take guys. three points of damage that ignore soak. And it's all strain damage, so it goes into strain. I cannot cast any more spells, but okay. All righty, that is their turn. Top of the round, back to the reanimates to attack Christina. Why can't I get off this thing? <laughs> <laughs> yellow, yellow... Green, purple, and that's it. I'm going to save this so I can actually do that. Christina, are you wanting to upgrade these skeletons? Oh, yeah. Okay, red. Let me save that. Are you going to upgrade them all? Yes. Okay. If I got the point, yes. All right, so the first one hits you for a total of seven damage. It's a one. Yep. Next one, I'm going to use a story point to upgrade it. Can you use one? All right, nothing. Story point again. With uh, two boosts. Oh, damn! <laughs> Christina, you take two damage. I've already accounted for soak. Uh, and this skeleton actually loses one of its members. Whoops, come on. I told you minus eight. All right, so this one is looking pretty damaged. Right here. There you go. All right, Christina's turn. Go ahead. Oh, and the worm just moves back this way since the worm was supposed to go. Rushing that direction. Oh, it's going back that way? Yeah. Essentially, you're being drug on the ground, too, by the way. I... You should try and get the worm... You should try and get out of the way and get the worm to run all five of them over. Because... Yeah. <laughs> Where is that? All right. I'm going to move like this direction. Well, I'm not going to move. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I doing? No strain left to cast magic. I just don't. You know what? I'm just going to run that direction. Me too. Alrighty. Let me roll their perceptions to see if they notice. Nope. 
No, they noticed. <laughs> they definitely noticed. So, I'm just going to give him a basic attack of opportunity. Yellow, yellow, green, purple. This will be for all of them. All right, so Christina, you don't take any damage from the skeletons. The wraiths, you take uh, two points each, and they ignore yeah, I'm so. Down. I'm down. Damage, right? Mm-hmm. I'm down. Go ahead and roll me a critical, or a uh, die 100. And I'm getting there. No worries. Yep. 35. All right. Uh, it doesn't matter. You're staggered. That's all it is. So you're unconscious, so it doesn't really matter. Tyson, you're up. I'm just going to kind of just pull my hands out. Can I pull my hands out? You know, like lean forward so that the chains just fall off? I'll give you two boosts for that one. So go ahead and roll the same check you did before, but with two boosts. Coordination? Mm-hmm. Actually, hold on. I'll let you upgrade with a boost. Okay. I just realized there, boss. Uh, Aaron, you're right in the way of the worm. All right. Oh, great. <laughs> I, can't get, I can't get out. So All right. I'm going to get eaten. This is going to be fun. <laughs> All right. I don't know what... I don't... Wait, wait, wait. What's up? I'm rolling a coordination. Wouldn't it be a joke? I mean, if the chains are wrapped around me, all I do is I lean for slack in it, and they let... So the problem is, is the way that the worm is moving, it's difficult for you to get that slack. That's what this is kind of depicting. Wouldn't um, that be an agility roll instead of an... Coordination should be agility. It's not. What is there it? It's not coordination. That's why I'm rolling so crummy. What is coordination, then? I thought coordination was agility. No, it's not. Yeah, Unless it is. Oh, no, coordination is presence. What the hell? Coordination is agility, and I only have... Acrobatics is based on... Athletics is based on... So, yes, I've been rolling coordination. Okay. Is it, It's based off of agility. I don't know why I have to coordinate myself to... Because you're trying to coordinate the movement of this worm with you getting the slack in the chain so you can just pull your hands out. Okay. That's why you're coordinating. All right, so All right. essentially, uh, based on that, the worm essentially dives right here in front of Kustrok. The sand of the diving actually buries Kustrok underneath it a little bit. You have a grave. All right, so... Um, yeah. At this point in time, uh, Tyson, go ahead and roll again to see if you can break free. <laughs> For the sixth time. Okay. So, Tyson, you come up again right here. Okay. Whoop, hold on. Come on. Move where I want you to move. Right there. All right. So as you come up, you feel the sun on your skin slam right into the side of the rock. You are now unconscious. I think you wanted us all to be unconscious. Essentially. <clears throat> all right. So you guys wake up. As you guys wake up, you find yourselves back at the border hold on let me actually move you to the correct map there we go you guys find yourselves here and christina i'm getting your token so give me just a second one gosh more than one time. give me more than one i need more time i don't know where the hell your token is there it is aha Alrighty. so you guys end up back here battered bruised and con Barely conscious, but alive. 
Huh. Essentially, while you're there, you see uh, several people, Lukil. Essentially, no, sorry, you don't see Lukil. Essentially, you see several of your clansmen from the, uh, if you could see. There's clansmen from the Broken Tooth clan here. Uh, amongst, they have actually got dead bodies. You guys can smell the dead, the dead flesh underneath, like, woven mat blankets. Um, <clears throat> what do you guys do at this point? Because you also see a few members from the, uh, the desert tribe. Ask what just happened. Uh, the guardsman that uh, you guys remember, Nydra, because she actually is licking you guys to wake you up. Her rider comes forward and says, we found you in the desert after Nydra came running back. Uh, the temple that you were at has been completely destroyed. We're not sure how. Uh, we found the worm dead, or the desert guardian dead next to it. And amongst all the ruins, your unconscious forms. Luckily, it seems that the sands, when the worm fell and died, covered you. We're not sure exactly what happened, but we bear ill tidings. Uh, the other rider, as well as the chieftain from the desert tribe, comes forward. Which one of you is Gorfang? Point to the only half orc in our group. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that'd be me. Gorfang. The, other direction. <laughs> the, uh, the chieftain a actually comes over and grabs your hands gently, placing them kind of cupped, like you would be cup it, like drinking water out of your hands, and you feel mm -hmm. something like a necklace being put into your hands. Oh, no. All right. What do you do? Uh, um, yeah, I don't, so is the map incorrect or what? No, this is correct. You guys are back at the crossroads that lead into the desert. All right, so <coughs> someone's standing next to me, right? Yeah, essentially you've got the, cl like a clan, a couple oh, of desert okay. clansmen like that. Okay, okay. So they give me a necklace. Yep. All right, I have no idea. Okay. As you yeah, kind of I, feel I mean, around the necklace, necklace to kind of get a feel for it, you realize that yeah. you recognize this necklace. It's okay. the one that your brother wears the, all the time. Or at okay. least he used to. All right, oh, I'll no. ask them how they came, up, uh, came about this. Uh, give me one second. Yep. Wait, is your brother already dead? No. Well, the chieftain was not. What happened? Hold on, we're going to wait for Tyson to get back because I want him to have a gravitas moment here. Yeah. Aww. Alright, so. Um, the. Alright, so it's blowing, it blowing to my brother. Okay. The chieftain, if you could see him, and all of you who have eyes can see this, uh, the mm -hmm. chieftain's face just falls. Your brother lies there, and he guides you over to one of the. Uh, dead underneath the woven mat. Gorfeng, you are now the chieftain of what is left of the Broken Tooth clan. What happened to it? Your village was destroyed by fire and ice worm. Well, uh, my knees will give out. There we go. It'll probably be a proper thing. Okay. And I'll just sit <coughs> there for a while holding the necklace. Uh, can I use the story point to make it rain? Sure. <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> I'm not going to have you roll a story point. You guys feel the pitter-patter of rain. It feels <laughs> ice cold. Very ice cold. <sighs> the uh, Gurak Tol, the two mounts, uh, they kind of shuffle back and forth under this rain. They do not like it. And they kind of snuffle as they do so. Uh, while right. Gorfang sits here and contemplates his dead brother uh, and the rest of his tribe, amongst them, as you guys kind of look, is Lukil. Hold up. Can I do something? Go for it. 
I'm gonna stand up. Okay. And I'm gonna put the necklace on. And I'm gonna turn to the chief. Didn't go. Where's my half sister? Your half sister. Who is your half sister? We were unaware that you even had a sister. She's close. I can feel her coming. All right, Tyson. I need a uh, image for the uh, token. I give it to you. All right, give me a second while I uh, get it. You can just do the face part. Yeah, no, I've got to get it so I can actually get the uh, token made. Do you have it or not? no? I have the image. Yes. I just oh, have okay. to get the image. All right. So, out of the wastes, uh, you guys see another orc appear. Very disheveled, uh, essentially missing an arm and the left breast. Uh, the orc looks absolutely goddamn terrible. Like, she is... Essentially, if you had to describe her, she is literally knocking on death's door right in front of you. And she just staggers. Like Gorfang has been drugged to the sand, basically. She looks worse than Gorfang, if that's possible. Oh. <clears throat> like, she is very, very bad off. Uh, you I'm actually gonna, can smell something akin to wood too. smoke. I'm going to look at the chief and go, I can always sense when she's coming. I hate her guts, but she's coming. I don't know where she's at, but you can't miss her. She's a scrawny little thing, and she's the witch incarnate I am here brother <laughs> thanks Nick for playing me hey <laughs> you weren't gonna do it so fuck it <laughs> I thought she's still far away no she's here I'm just putting her no. building the token so go oh, ahead no. how would you say it then sister of Gawfang <laughs> I would go you're such an idiot and I'd spit on the ground. Well, do I'm it. Come on, you're talking to yourself. Start talking. <laughs> Watching this. Um, this is so weird for me, guys. <laughs> Hold up now. Gorfang will turn. There's something wrong with you. Something different. You're missing something. And the sister will just shake her head. You're still an idiot. I lost my arm. What's the look on the chieftain's face? Uh, the chieftain looks kind of like he's he's not he's surprised that you could like almost smell her coming out of the like from nowhere. <laughs> uh, but he doesn't look that uh, that surprised to see her necessarily. Um, he he's more like surprised like what the hell? This orc uh, looks like crap. I'll look at the chieftain and I go, she always looks like this. She's from the south, from the swamplands. She's an outcast. Not an outcast anymore, brother. Oh, she says that? Yep. I'll take over for here for now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, well, I appreciate you. I'm glad I have yep. a deep voice. <clears throat> it, it just sounds cooler in my head. Anyway. Thanks. <laughs> oh, boy. Your manly voice sounds cooler as a woman's. No, not at all. Anyway, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> all right, so not any, said... not anymore, brother. Is that better? <laughs> That's all your women you ever play. Shut up. <laughs> I can't do voices, Tyson. You know this. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, have you wait, built wait, the wait, new wait. character, Tyson? I have. Hey, hey, Tony. Yeah. I need I need some of your quick witted comments here. Come on, help me out now. You've been so quiet. Uh, Tyson, oh, where man. is the have you oh you didn't build it on the uh, roll twenty, did you? No, I didn't have an extra character sheet. Okay, I go ahead and one. start uh, transferring it over. Okay. Can you create me a second one? There is one in there for you already. Oh, I see it, okay. Yeah, I will here in just a moment. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I'm, uh, I'll look at my half-sister. I'm apparently the, uh, the chief of the Broken Tooth Clan. My brother has passed, and so has my father. Your father. Don't expect any aid from the South, either. My clan has been wiped out. 
that this Gorfang's uh, jaw will come slightly unhinged. What do you say? Heresy. It isn't heresy, brother. If you send any scouts to the south, you will see that I speak the truth. I have been traveling for a month now to get here, dining on naught but root, berry, and twig. What's going on in, on our island, on our turtle? That is what That's I would greedy. like to know. There's so That's much greedy. turmoil. The luggage there knows. I'm still unconscious, I thought. I no, you're awake. You guys are all awake. Go ahead and We're give your guys awake, give your guys full health, etc. You guys have had essentially the better oh. part of like a day to heal. <coughs> and medicine, etc. has been put into your system, as well as healing magic. So you guys should be fully healed. Oh my god. I just <laughs> have nothing to say. She looks at all of you. A storm is coming. Led oh by a man who has this marking. And give me a second while I get the marking for you guys. Where'd it go? There it is. This one right here. Alrighty. Give it a handout. Uh, it won't let me drop it. No! Dang it. That sucks. Okay. You'll have to give me a second. I gotta snip it. That way I can actually get this mark for you guys. Because it won't let me mm. actually do it. Triangular snip. I'll save as... Hey Tyson, remember that uh, conversation we had the last game? Um, yeah. Try not to do too much of that because it makes it very hard for me to do what I need to do. Okay, cool deal. All right, so all players, come on, put it up. All righty, there you go. That mark is what she draws in the dirt. Mm -hmm. uh, it just disappeared on me. It should be in your handouts. It's not. Uh, hold on, I'll put it under. Uh, I'll put it under group. He can feel the marking. Wow! Okay, wow! 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 All right, so it's in the group handouts. Um, would we? Would any of us recognize it? Uh, go ahead and roll me a... It was on the temple wall. No. Go ahead and roll me a... A four red lore check. No. Oh. Sure, why can, not? Can my new character roll that? Uh, <laughs> sure, I guess. Why not? Oh, did I heal any of my critical injuries? Uh, no, Over none there. of you have had a chance to heal those yet. You'll have a chance at the end of the session tonight to try. <laughs> stupid. All right, so Tyson succeeded. Tony did not. You did not. Alrighty, and Christina, are you going to try and roll? I can try. I ain't got nothing in it. Well, might as well. Nothing wrong with trying. Uh, what are we rolling again? A four red uh, lore check. Alright. This lore... I believe in you. All right, so Tyson, your character is the only one that knows. I'll go. Well, I'm glad there's at least one of us that's smart around here. After all, as I look at all their dumbfounded 
And then, uh, I don't know, if you want to explain it, Nick? Hold on, I'm typing to you. Oh, that's so distracting. Yes, it oh. is, and that's why I don't like doing this very often. <laughs> <laughs> Take over my voice again. Speak like this, with my girly voice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not sorry! <laughs> I have to give him a hard time for par wiping the party. Alive yeah. still, we're not wiped. Barely alive. We were wiped. He was just we nice and resetted us. There you go. No, that's a, this actually was part of the story. Alright, so what was the thing you were trying to do, Tyson, with the new character? What? Nothing. Why? Well, you had me wanting to do a voice, so what's up? What did you want me to voice? No, 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 no. I, um, anyways, I'm going to say, uh, it belongs to the shadow group that has plagued history. They appear periodically, but no one has named them. But they're the shadow group that works in the shadows. The shadow group the sh from the shadow. Sound. Shadowy. <laughs> yeah, it's just as there is uh, a group of individuals or people that have plagued throughout us throughout history. Who they are, I have no idea. No one has ever known who they are or named them. Oh, I think we can this right, Nick? Yes, you are saying that correctly. All right. Alrighty. Okay, Tyson, I'm going to send you another thing, but luckily it's already typed out. So, there you go. Uh, oh, that that image that you guys saw that she drew. That's what that is, Tyson, for the second bullet. Mm. My, my mind is kind of scattered from when we were attacked and I lost body parts and nearly escaped. But this symbol here was a tattoo that was on one of the individuals that attacked me. Was it that lady that kept doing the bell? I'm not entirely sure, but I do know that our clan was wiped out. Uh, Tyson, your was... new character has no idea who the lady with the bell is. Yeah, I don't. That's why I said I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Anyway, continue. I was saying, uh, but I do know that my clan was destroyed by individuals that awakened a primal stone elemental. And what's going on with our with our film that this keeps happening? What's what's why is shit hitting the fan so hard? On this one, is it on other islands? Is it on other turtles? Uh, your character Tyson knows that this is a essentially a global thing essentially it infl they are they have been sighted on many different turtles it's just been throughout history yes this group travels from turtle to turtle plaguing them as they go mm. it's coming to me beats and pieces I think I know more but all the trauma I've been through over the last month is making it very difficult to remember things. Um. Can I try and, um, I'm going to be like, uh, I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to like do a little prayer to Habuk. Okay. And see if uh, I can get any help, uh, know what to do. Like what, what should we do about this? Any guidance overall about what what we should do? I'm gonna I'm gonna put my uh, my battle standard in front of me and lay down my mat and and uh, and pray to see what what how to heal this plagued land. Alrighty. Yeah. So the difficulty of this check is gonna be it, it'll be a divine check. 
No, primal, because your god is a primal god. So go ahead and give me a hard primal check. Hard is three, right? Yes. Yeah. Is. All right, so... You, unfortunately, it does not feel as though your god is listening to your prayers. Hmm. I get put on hold. Left on red. I, uh, I pack back up and I, I come back to the group. Okay. <laughs> While he was praying, what were you guys doing? Yeah. Um... If no one else is really talking, I'd probably have my two characters stand off to the side as they talk amongst themselves. Okay. Alrighty, so they go stand by the side, and they converse back and forth, catching up, etc., whatever it is that they need to do. What do we need to do next? What do we need to do? You need to uh, stop. Yeah, I'm gonna. Back. No, you, yeah, you. So um, I'm gonna talk to the the, the clansmen. Hold on, ask, before uh, that, I want to just hear what uh, Rudy was doing while you were praying. Oh, right. Give everybody a chance <laughs> to do something. Oh man, um, this is the one character that I don't want to try smoozing because she looks like a monster, not gonna lie. <laughs> she, she can make note of me not looking at her if she wants. Um, I will observe the image in the sand. Like, do I have forbidden knowledge on this? Do I have lore of, or knowledge of forbidden? If you would like to try and roll a forbidden knowledge on it, uh, go ahead and sure. give me a three red uh, forbidden knowledge check. Wow, only Ooh. three red. Only three red. I'll be yeah. right back. Only. Alrighty. Only three. Oh, I super failed. Yeah. All right. Okay, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it, as you gaze upon this symbol. You are struck by a thought, but it doesn't feel like it's your own, which is weird, just in and of itself. But what makes it worse is it just right, seems man. to get seared into your brain, and it just will not stop. Uh, as you continue to look at it, uh, it just it starts to almost like glow, and as it glows, you you almost feel as though you're screaming, but your body is not able to move. And you go unconscious. Oh, thank goodness. At least I don't have to look at the lady anymore. <laughs> uh, around this time is when uh, everybody kind of stops their deal. Uh, Christina, while he's looking at the symbol, what are you doing? What is your character doing at the moment? Uh, just pon pondering what the next move is. Uh find any guidance to the next move. Okay. Next. You remember that you have a oh, burnt really? letter amongst your belongings. You can't read it, but you had a burnt letter, and you remember somebody from the tri from Gorfang's tribe saying to give this to him uh, should they die. And then you remember, oh god, that was the brother. The Gorfang? And that's when yes. you see Rudy go unconscious. All of you see Rudy just suddenly collapse. I hand the letter to him and go kneel beside Rudy. Try and wake him up. What's wrong with Rudy? I'm conscious. Here's a letter. Current letter supposed to give if your brother was to pass. But I'm, sorry. Your I'm so lost right now. No worries. We're, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. All right. So as you guys go to check up on Rudy, uh, he, his eyes open and they're milky white. 
seven God stars, or five stars sit upon the precipice, heralds for an ancient way. The sands hold a secret, a door to open at the correct time. The Rudy looks directly at Kustrak. Your God beckons you forward. Save the world if you can. Looking towards Gorfang and his sister. You two. Parted you must be, yet not apart are you. Looking to Dahlia. You must find one who will help save the world. A beacon in a dark, dark place. Hmm. Not among this land, but of another and then he goes unconscious. Or as, as he kind of goes back down to unconsciousness, find the keys that will ransom your way through the door. And then he basically wakes up with this in his mind. Rudy, you have almost like a divine inspiration. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, you are divine inspired. <laughs> it, you feel n- knowledge unlike any that you've ever had before and it it's a lot it essentially what it does is it it basically breaks your mind for an, a second with how much you suddenly know you have a flash of three different things give me one moment while i get the three different things that way i can tell you exactly what they are all right so the first you see a being made of pure white light. Make sure you guys are taking note of this. I will not say it again. I need to write this down. I'll give you guys a second if you need to get to your notes section. Is it um, me just light? seeing this or is this everybody? This is just you. What okay. was the first thing he said like before he turned to me? Uh, Hold on. Let me get back to that section here. Story... Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, five stars sit upon the precipice, heralds for an ancient way. That is the first thing he said before he turned to each of you in turn. All right. So anyway, uh, Tony, the first thing you see is a being made of pure white light. Blindingly pure white light. Okay. The second thing you see is a painting upon, upon a wall. The third thing, you feel cold, unnaturally cold. And something rough that fits in your palm. And then there's two. You can feel two separate items in your palm. One feels of stone, the other something organic. Okay. And Do I then, look at my hands? Nothing's, oh, wait. nothing's there. That's just kind of what you see. This is what your divine knowledge has given you. <clears throat> oh, one more thing. You do see a door in the desert. But you have no idea where it's at. And that is the end of uh, the divine inspiration for you. All right, so what are you guys doing? Well, I know I have to go to a distant land to find this person. Okay. Well, I guess I have to save the world. Oh! It's <laughs> on your shoulders, bud. <laughs> Uh, you, you, hear, you hear Rock Good and his half sister go, Thank God we're each other. <laughs> Did he do the front letter? Uh, he can't read it because he's blind, which is funny. This is for King. <laughs> yep. All right, so Tyson, essentially the letter is from your brother. Uh, he urges you to remember the family. Uh,. Essentially, he also hints towards a secret knowledge that you need to find. Mm. And he says only those of your family will know where to find it. 
I have a trip to go on. Alrighty. So, at this point, that is, is where we'll call it for tonight. Now, uh, everybody else in here, Ty except for Tyson and Christina, you guys know what I'm about to do because you've seen this before. You yep, guys yep. now have downtime. One month worth of downtime. Uh, what I will do is this coming week, uh, I'm going to probably message you guys privately. That way I can figure out exactly what your characters are doing. Um, yeah, I don't have time tonight because I've got other stuff I've got to do. Otherwise, I would do all of this tonight. Um, but I do, I'll need to know exactly what your characters are doing. Right so, now? not right now. We'll talk about it later. Okay. So, be thinking about what your character would do with a month of downtime. Month. Okay. Oh, and um, uh, XP. Yep. All right. From so, last session and this session, I guess. <clears throat> All righty. So, the XP that you guys have gained for this session. Uh, t t I gave you guys 20 last session, right? Two mm -hmm. sessions ago. Last session, because we haven't played last week, so... No, last session we didn't get any XP. We ended in the temple, and you said you'd give oh, us okay. XP for that later. Yeah. Yep, that's because you had to get to where you're at now. Alright, so each of you is going to get 20 XP. 10, point, 10 XP for being here, 5 for excellent role-playing... Actually, I'm going to give you guys an additional 5. So each of you is getting 25 XP. So that should put you at 65. Each. So good role-playing, everybody. Staying true to characters. Good on you guys for being here. Now, with that, addition, with that XP, that puts you over 50. What that means for you is you guys now get what's called a... Uh, uh, it's an uh, ability point. So that ability point allows you to upgrade your heroic ability. Let me get to that section. Do, 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 do. What about me missing last week? I won't get that plenty from last week. Since no, I'm you're still going to get it. You played through this portion. I'm counting it as both of both these sessions. Because this right. was kind of a split session for everybody. Alrighty, so... With your, hero, your ability points. So, essentially, if you go to page 79 of the Terranoth book, I don't know what that is on the PDF side of it, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff that you can use to upgrade. Now, uh, keep in mind that you're going to be getting a, another ability point every 50 XP. Some of these deals are going to actually cost you an additional uh, ability point above one. So you may have, like, two. Yeah. So just one more. Yep. Okay. So I will let you guys decide whether or not you want to spend it and if you do, the ability points, you have one ability point to use. Uh, at the beginning of next session, what I will do is I will ask each of you if you have spent it. And if you have, I'm keeping track of it. So that way we can go from there. Uh, as for next week's game, I am not entirely sure when that will be. Uh, just due to the fact that I have, because I'm working two jobs at the moment, 